Hey everyone, welcome back to Legendary. Today I'll be showing you a couple of must-try foods to eat in Seoul, South Korea. Let's start off with a must-eat dish called Samyetang, which is a famous Korean ginseng chicken soup. The whole young chicken inside the soup is filled with garlic, rice, jujube and ginseng. Traditionally, the soup is seen to be good for your health. The probably most well-known food Korean barbecue. When in Korea, enjoy the freshly grilled meats and make sure to order the fresh Korean steak tartar yukwe. Super delicious, wrapped in the lettuce and add some spicy chili paste to enjoy the beautiful flavors. Try the tornado hand spin and you'll have a great night out. When walking around in Seoul, you will see many street food trucks selling delicious foods. The most famous among them are probably the spicy rice cakes called tteokbokki. Then we have the blood sausage called sundae, which sounds not great, I admit, but tastes really yummy, I promise. It consists of a mix of glass noodles, rice and pig's blood. Also make sure to try a Korean corn dog normally with some cheese inside. When in Korea, you'll hear a lot about chicken and beer, which is plainly and simple, some delicious Korean fried chicken with beer. Seoul offers many, many cafe spots to enjoy some freshly baked pastries with some really good coffee. Koreans love their iced coffee, even in winter. If you have a special occasion while in Seoul and you're looking for a nice restaurant serving Korean cuisine with a view, I can recommend the restaurant called Piscina or Piscina. I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but location is on the 81st floor of the Signal Seoul Hotel, right next to the Lotte Towers. After enjoying a delicious meal, you can stroll through the malls and spend hours of window shopping. Truffle. It's a hybrid of croissant and waffle, a very popular snack. I love croissants, I love waffles, so this one was a no-brainer, a must-have for all sweet tooth peeps out there. My favorite place was actually the Guangzhou Market. Highly recommend to look for the friendly lady featured in the Netflix show Street Food Asia for making delicious knife cut noodle soup called 
kalguksu with superb dumplings. The prices are really reasonable and the portions are very generous. So we're here at this very famous Kalgusu store here at the Guanzhang market and uh, Netflix uh, auntie, she is super friendly, gave us the food, the food is very decently priced I believe and the quality is super good. Oh, and it's really hot in this uh, metal bowl. Mm. It's really good. The soup is springy. It doesn't say starchy at all. The soup has a very nice, clear, bubbly taste. It's so perfect for a really cool weather outside. Right now we're in like, covered in three layers of different clothing. But this broth, this broth soup is amazing. It's perfect. Let's try the kimchi as well. Oh. It has a good spice. It has a perfect crunch of the cabbage. It's very smooth and all rounder. So, I think no, just the turkey. <laughs> Singapore, thank you. Another super delicious dish in the market is a mung bean pancake called Bindedok. After grinding soaked mung beans into a kind of paste, it is then fried crispy golden brown together with some vegetables and meat. Make sure to eat it together with the onions provided to get the best flavor. Tokpoki is delicious everywhere, but you really need to be able to handle your spice. Kimbap. I think it can be compared to Japanese sushi. If you're off age, get some soju to make it a perfect meal. So, here we're gonna try the tteokbokki from this place. It's basically a rice cake covered in chili paste. Mm. Oh. Spicy. Mm. It has like a rubbery, chewy kind of texture. It's a very, very common kind of snack I think during drinking as well and generally on these kind of markets everybody sells them. Mm. I forgot to dip it right? Yeah. Mm. Ooh. This is like a spicy kind of mustard sauce. Mm. Last but not least, the mung bean pancake. As we learned, we have to eat this with a piece of onion. So, let's take it all together in one mouth. Mm. I think the onion goes very well with this hot, freshly fried pancake. Some other dishes you can try in the Guangzhou market are the soy marinated crab and the side dishes from this stall. Super friendly people and also featured on the Netflix show Street Food Asia. If you want a quick snack, go into one of the many convenience stores like See You with a nice slogan, Nice to See You, which is like a 7-Eleven and grab a roll of kimbap. Honestly, it is delicious.
on the street, try some mandu dumplings with different fillings. We also tried kalgusu at this other popular restaurant in Myeongdong. It is slightly pricier than in the Guangzhou market and the kimchi has a real penetrating kick to it but definitely worth a try as well. The way it tastes the best when you slurp it. The filling of the dumplings is really generous. If you have some spare time like we did, just check out the Myeongdong Lotte department store basement level and explore different types of foods here. As you can see, they have bakeries with amazing smelling pastries, fried filled chestnuts, croffles, dumplings, bibimbap, and so much more. Juicy, fresh bulgogi in here. Nice onions, fluffy wrapping bao. Moving on to the croffle. Mmm, exterior is like croissant. Mmm, generous portion of meat. A beautiful shrimp in here. In case you had a cup of drinks, make sure to drink this Korean magic liquid, which is supposed to help with any hangover. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one.